What if Galindo wiped out the Niners? Welcome back to Fog Entertainment. It is a Sons of Anarchy Season 4 theory. And we have to think, theoretically, which we do in most of these theories, we have to think pretty much into Season 5 because... Right, we've got two options. We'll start with the one that got the least amount of votes. Opie Mayhem folk for shooting Clay. Because if you remember, right? When Opie shoots Clay, Clay's like, No, oh, Mexicans? No, oh, blame it on the blacks. Clay blames it on the blacks. The blacks have been shafted. The Niners get landed with this tag of, well, we're the ones that shot Clay. But let's be real. If Galindo wipes out the Niners, who do they blame it on? Now, maybe when Unser says, Mexicans? They turn around, he turns around and says, oh, blame it on Oak. He starts coughing up his own blood. Maybe that is the only scenario here um, after this. Because, I mean, the beef with the Mexicans is done, but I guess they could have just fucking lied and said, oh, well, it was on the... It was on the Mexicans. It was the Mexicans, bummer. But uh, realistically, I think Opie might have been looking at a mayhem folk, but once Jax finds out the truth and... Like, I mean, I think once Gemma gets wind that Opie could be getting a mayhem folk for shooting Clay, she's going to obviously... Her and Unser would tell Jax, or she would just tell Jax, like, an episode earlier or something. That this is how shit is going to go down. But it came in in last place with 24% of the folk. Um, in first place with seventy six percent of the folk, the folk, <laughs> the folk, the folk, Angelo Janeiro. No, we have got Pope threatens Galindo. Of course, Pope isn't really seen until season five. Um, no, he is mentioned in the season four finale. Veronica Pope. Uh, it's Damian Pope's daughter. Uh, that line for uh, Eli Roosevelt. Would would he have stepped in? Would he have cared about the Niners? Now, of course, <laughs> Pope kind of has all those crews on like. A curfew, so to speak, a lockdown. Would he have stepped up and been like, right, these guys move product for me, etc. They're, they're a business associate. You can't just wipe out an entire crew, Mr. Galindo. Or would Pope have not even bothered? A lot of people think on this poll, though, that Pope would have threatened Galindo. And that would have been a very interesting dynamic. Um, Bridget Connor says, We probably build up an on-screen action, not written by Elgin James. Pope versus Galindo would have been must-seen TV. Mind you, this isn't Galindo for Mayans, who cries about his mother for five episodes and sit downs to pee at Emily's request. This Galindo regime was the real deal, and a war Pope crew would have been very intriguing to watch unfold. Absolutely. Absolutely, damn it. Uh, J-L-R-E-2. If all of the people in the club and Opie went through, they would side with him and hear out why he shot Clay. Exactly. Uh, Carnage Arnicus says, Pope versus Galindo would be very interesting. It would have been... Uh, Obviously, they never really butt heads in the show. It's more of like a business agreement that they have. Like Pope agree, like wants to move sixty bricks rather than thirty, and that's pretty much however close it gets. Um, he talks to like uh, what's his name? Can't remember the guy's name in the Niners, but the guy took after after Roy, but not it's not Tyler. The guy before Tyler, and he's like, "Do you know how long I'm trying to distance myself from those meetings, those sit downs? I have just been reached out by the." The military arm of the Galindo drug cartel. You dumb bastard! I don't want it. I don't want that. Um, yeah, but it would be interesting. Let's see what the reply said. Uh, why is Webb missing? What's going on? Who's winning? Yeah, I mean, who's winning? I would say Galindo would. <sighs> it's hard to say, right? Because. Pope, they're both as bad as each other, like, both as dangerous as each other. Like, Pope has, like, everyone on board. Well, Galindo's, like, definitely more in your face, sort of, like, here. Mess with us, we'll fucking blow you up here in Northern Cali. Like, Pope would, you know, play dirty, get you arrested, get you inside, vulnerable, blah, blah, blah. Have a few members, etc. killed. Um, who would win, honestly? I actually can't say. It's one of those ones in the Suns where you pin these like two groups against each other and it's like, it's not just a case of fight to the death. There's a lot more at stake. And honestly, I don't I don't know who would win. But Forged by Fire is probably going to go into this a wee bit as well. He says, no, it wouldn't. See, you got to understand, Pope was a gangster turned businessman. Cartel is cartel. The influence the cartel had in SOA would have wiped all the black cars they had in prison whatever gangs such as Niners and everywhere else from the outside. Pope wouldn't have enough hitters and the cartel would have took over business meaning he wouldn't have shit to go to war with. There you go. Yeah. I feel like, I think it would be hard to tell. I think, because the problem is, right, the cartel are never going to get themselves in a position where, like, Romeo and Luis are going to be able to be arrested by Pope and put into a jail and killed. The sons are different. 
like they're very much out in the open where the cartels like behind the scenes sort of shit. So I think for that reason I would side with Galindo, but I don't I don't think I don't think it would be a foregone conclusion that Pope could possibly win. Um you know, crazier things have happened. But anyway guys, leave your thoughts down below. But until next time, peace.